Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the TrueAttack GPS adapter on this KTM 1290 Super Adventure S. Okay, I'm gonna remove my Garmin Zumo XT and here you see the Zumo mount with the power cable which comes with the Zumo. On the back, there's a plastic piece that I bought on uh, Amazon and together with the Zumo mount, it clamps around the tube of the TrueAttack GPS mounting adapter. Now, it's a bit difficult to see, but the TrueAttack GPS mounting adapter is attached to the back of the display, so to install it, you have to take the display off, which is not that difficult. My Garmin Zumo mount is placed in the center, so when I look at my GPS, I can still see the road in front of me. And because this TrueAttack bracket is fixed to the display, it doesn't move when changing the height of the windscreen. The original KTM GPS bracket is mounted between the windscreen bolts, so it goes up or down together with the windscreen, and I don't want it that. I want my GPS fixed above the display, so for that I bought the TrueAttack GPS mounting bracket. Okay, it comes like this, all the pieces in the back, and the part number is also in the description, and also a link to the plastic part that I bought on Amazon. It's not that much, a tube, some bolts, and the mounting plate. And this comes behind the TFT display of the KTM 1290 Super Adventure S or a KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. This 12mm tube comes here between the two bracket ends and that's it. On the TrueAttack website you can download the manual which describes how to disassemble the TFT screen and how to fit the TrueAttack GPS mounting bracket to the display. All explained step by step. Ok, I put the windscreen in the highest position and you can see a bolt here and a bolt here. So I'm gonna start removing the first bolt. Ok, and now I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side and remove the second bolt. Back on the left hand side I remove the lower bolt Oops. Now I have to press the axle and take it out on the other side. And now I can remove the display and disconnect the connector. Simply press the connector lock and pull carefully. Ta-da! The TFT screen of my KTM 1290 Super Adventure. Ok, now I mount the tube between the TrueAttack bracket ends and I also do some Loctite on the bolts. And for some reason I have a corrupt video file here so the next steps cannot be shown, but it comes to this, installing the tube, removing the original bolts from the plastic backplate and placing the TrueAttack bracket on the back of the display. And now I'm gonna use the washers with the new bolts the new ones are a little bit longer than the originals. Ok, that looks good. A decent GPS bracket that fits nice on the display. So, now we can install the display back on the motorcycle. Oh, and don't forget to connect the connector back to the display. Oh, 
Okay, first I put the axle back in place and then I can install the bolt into the axle and I don't tighten the bolts before all the bolts are installed. Ok, the axle is installed, now I can put the upper bolts back. I place the display in the right position, so I can install the last two bolts. And this is the first bolt. And here the second bolt. And now that everything is in place, I can tighten the bolts. So, the Touratec GPS mounting adapter is installed. You can put whatever GPS mount on the Touratec mount, as long as it fits the 12mm tube. As you can see, the mount is on a good height above the display, and with the Zumo installed, I have my navigation screen right above my display. In my setup with the Zumo mount and the plastic piece, it's also possible to change the angle of the GPS. So I can change the angle when the screen is blinded by the sun. Here you can see how it looks when riding the bike. For me, the GPS is in a perfect position. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel and see you in another video.